All right, guys. Welcome to day two of, well, night two of National Moth Week. It is, let me see, it is 108 a.m. Um, it's about, it's about the same time I did it last night. Uh, anyways, let's go to the light trap. Looks like we got ourselves the first victim here. Oh. Calm down, buddy. What are you doing? We got the Hylies up in here. Let's see if we can grab him. Probably not, though. Ah, crap. Ah, shit. I don't know. Anyways, that's the first one we've had. We also got these, a bunch of these guys, too. A lot of these. Lots of these. These stink bugs. I like smelling these. These smell pretty good. Smell pretty, pretty good. What's that flying right there? We'll knock to it or something. Just crashed in here. Let's see what you are. What are you? Pretty big for Noctuid. I think you're Noctuid. Where did it go? Yeah, you're boring. Yeah, you're boring. All right. Let's see. Nothing over there. Or, I don't think so. Let me turn the flash on. There we go. Nice. Gotta have the flash when you're going light trapping at night. I don't have a... I don't know where my flashlight charger is. So I gotta use this for now. What are you doing? What are you doing? Get the wide angle for this. Wide angle. I think that's a wide angle. Yeah, it's one. Er. No. Wait. Never mind. Okay. It's normal. Alright. Oh. Okay. Well, we got ourselves a second Hylies, I believe. Where did it go? Oh, it's on me. Saw me again. What a beautiful moth, dude. Look at those colors. Oh. June beetle. Cool. This might be the last day of National Moth Week for me. Or everything can go good. Because my sister is moving. That's why we got this big ass thing over here. It's a nice truck. It's a Ford. We got the Gulf Redillary on it. Got some information about some thing there. Interesting. Cool butterfly. Look at the art. Like, the art is so, like... I, I've I've raised these. I know I know where they live. I know their life cycle. I I know how long their life cycle is. I know how big they are. I know how they fly. I know how they mate. I know how everything about this butterfly. And I'm telling you, they got everything. They they got even the shape of the leg is exact, and the eye is exact. Everything. Very nice art. Okay, let's keep on looking for moths. I think I heard something big fly into the slide over here. Looks we we got some ant lions and stuff. Beetles, whatever. Bunch of boring stuff. We got another moth up there, if you can see. Don't know what kind it is yet, but we'll see. Okay, so apparently it was this bitch the whole, ta whole time, so 
That's no fun. Gotta get this filter blaster. Pretty harsh chemicals. I wonder what I'm gonna spray in with this today. Perhaps a hawk moth. I don't know. Just kidding, man. this is just water. I just emptied this out, cleaned it out. I cleaned it out very good so there's no remaining chemicals in there and it's just, just water. So when my dog is um, whining and crying and barking, I just spray him with that so we can train him not to bark and yell every time someone comes home or someone leaves or whatever. So <clears throat> Cool. Oh, look at that little... A lot of these things I can show you now, like, I can focus there, you can see this real good, pretty nice. I just sprayed them, because why not give them a little thing of water there. Look at him flying around, thinks he's all cool, and you know what, you are really cool. All right, let's go look for more moths. Now look who just showed up. This guy. Last video, we didn't see any of these. That's a nice thing for National Moth Week. Nice little Carolina Sphinx. It looks like, let me take a look. Got, yeah, six spots. Good old Carolina Sphinx. You can really hear them flapping around. Pretty big. I'll show you a size comparison to the white line sphinx. It's like the white line sphinx is half the size of the Carolina sphinx. Look at that. Very nice big moth. And we got some kind of beetle down there. Some kind of ground beetle. Very interesting orange legs. And then this guy had to bomb the site for some reason. This one will be one video. I have 45, 45 of time left. So I have 45 minutes, 45 seconds of video I can film until I can't film no more. Good. Ooh, that's cool. That's a new species. Look at that. Oh, dropped him. Stop flying. Go on the sheet so we can look at the colors of that thing, dude. Go on the sheet so I can zoom in. Look at the colors of that moth. Beautiful moth. This is um, Eumorpha Ackman. Very cool moth. They feed on grapevine. And I actually have grapevine. So far we got, we've got nothing but sphinx moths here. Which is pretty sick. We got one, two, three species already. That's pretty good. Well, would you look at that? Looks like we got another one of these. Good old, another Manduka Sexta. Carolina Sphinx, there he goes. A lot more active, holy crap. This thing's flying all over the place. Jesus Christ, okay. Calm down, buddy. It's a male, unfortunately. I think we're, wait, is it a male? Yeah, it's a male. This thing's quality is so good, but it has a really hard time focusing. You can kind of see it there. There we go. All right. And another one. There sure is a lot of these. We got... One, two, three of them now. Carolina Sphinx. This one is flying all over the place. 
Jesus. Look at that thing go. They sure look like bats, dude. They look like freaking bats when they fly. <sighs> Very nice moth. Let's get some close-ups of these things. To prove to you that I'm not doing any magic here, there's one, two, no cuts, three, no cuts, three Sphinx moths. No movie magic here. All real. This is what you get when you live in western Nevada. You get shit like this flying around at night. Freaking bird size freaking bugs everywhere. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stay still, please. Stay still. Don't fly. I love you. Ah, it's a male though. Look at the patterns on that thing. If it focuses, goddamn. Look at this thing. Look at that colors. This is a Western Poplar Sphinx. Packy Sphinx Occidentalis. Pretty much the largest moth in my area. The largest Sphinx moth. These are these feed on poplar, willow, and cottonwood. They do not have a mouth as adults, as you can see. Just that big, cute face. These are really weird because their eye shine is white. Unlike most moths, their eyes shine red. But these guys, they shine white. See that? They have a reflective sheet behind their eye. Look at Beautiful pink. Very big moth. It is a male. From the antenna there, they're really thick and feathery and fuzzy. Six legs, of course. This ain't no butterfly, that's for sure. You can really feel the air from these things. Fucking crazy. Nice. I haven't checked back over here in a while. Uh, there might be something cool, I don't know. Maybe. There's a lot of these beetles here. Oh, it fell. Last night, there was at least 50 of those white satin moths. And tonight, I haven't seen any. Like, there's nothing. But, there is, I think that is one right there. I believe that white spot is one. So, what I'm going to do is get this and shine it up there. Let's try to get it. All right, well, it wasn't a white satin moth. I guess it was some kind of noctuid moth. Ooh, while we're waiting for some more moths, let's go inside for a couple minutes. Oh, I can sh finally show you these geometric moths properly. Let's see if we can focus. There we go. Very nice. Oh, there it goes. Cool. Might as well show you guys some of the catches I've been doing. Alright, first off, we got this interesting cockroach here. Very nice roach. Sand roach, I believe. Don't know what species yet. We got this beetle here, this Popressed I believe it's a charcoal beetle, we also got one over here, but a little bit different colors, it's different colors on it, very nice, we got this 
neat tarantula hawk that I cut a couple days ago. Very nice. You can see the nice metallic blue. This is, I believe, the third or fourth most painful sting in the United States. So, don't want to mess with those. Alright, now we got a Herald Moth, and I forgot what this one was called. Someone on Discord told me what this was, and I forgot the name. So, very cool green Noctuid. Right there. And the Herald Moth. They're still drying, but look at that thing, dude. So gorgeous. It looks just like a leaf. While I was trying to catch it, it actually played played dead a couple times. I don't know if this is an Octuid Moth or a Geometrid Moth. But it looks like a mix between the two. I don't know. Really cool. I thought it was a in the genus Pero. But now that I look at it, it's not it's not an ingenious peril. Or maybe it is, I don't know. I need to look at the species again. And we got this really fresh Carolina Sphinx. I got the proboscis stretched out completely. Look at how fresh these things are. You want it to focus All right. You can see when they're fresh, they actually have a little bit of green, if you can see. And if you look right there around where the pronoto meets the abdomen, the, the black spots have a little bit of orange on them. You can see one, two, three, four, five, and then the little one down there, six. Six spots, super modeled pattern, like that. Male, thick antennas, and last but not least, we got this really fresh Hylies lineata female. We got the really rosy blotches on the side of the abdomen. We got the rosy red hind wings there. And that classic grass mimicking patterned wing. These guys mimic dr uh, dried grass. And they, re they rest low. They don't rest on trees. They rest low or on buildings. Like light colored buildings. And they just hide those bright colored spots. And they just... Mimic grass. So very, very cool. I'll also link these nice glass sheets in the description. They are super useful. And they're really good. If you don't have enough pins for glassine sheets, then you can just lay a couple of those um, glass on there. And here, we got some other stuff. I think I already showed you this in the last video. But, some stuff I need a pin. We got a little boatload of moths. This is all moths and a couple beetles or flies or something. That I need to spread. And, oh yeah. This moth right here. Just caught... Look at the patterns on it. Cool. A little not to it. These damn moths keep... I think this is some kind of lapid moth. I don't know. It's really fat. Kind of cute. Their abdomen is as long as their wings. Which I find really interesting. Very strange moth. Let's close this. Alright guys, it's been about an hour. I 
took a little break from that stuff, ate a little something, and uh, we're back out. Um, nothing in here. Doesn't look like it. Uh, wait, was that I? I thought I saw eye shine. Anyway, we're back outside. And, um, uh, I gotta make a thumbnail, so I gotta somehow get all these things. Oh, what was that? Oh, we got one of those here. Little Mary graphic. Always nice to see those. Saw a couple of those in the last video. Oh, a whole bunch of the same stuff. Cool. Alright. Time to make this thumbnail. I'm gonna try to get every moth on the sheet all next to each other. Like that. That. Alright. I'll get back to you when I'm done. Okay, looks like I I was doing a little bit. Some of them flew off, but one another one of these showed up, which I didn't notice. They got two Ackham Sphinx here now. That one's trying to take off, but won't let it. Alright. Will that be a good thumbnail? I don't know. Let me turn the flash off. There. Nice long a oh, crap. Need to get my chair. Alright. One of these has got to be the thumbnail. And turn the flash on. Maybe it's this better. Alright. I think that's that's to do it. I honestly don't know what I'm going to do with all these moths. I'm sure not going to keep all of them to pin. I'm not going to do that. I don't know. The moon's not out, so they don't have anywhere to fly, really. Unless they naturally just fly around nectaring. Um, I'm going to set all these guys in my plants over there in my garden. Over there, put them all throughout the plants. Make sure they're all hidden so the birds don't get them in the morning. Um, I don't know. Let's see the time. Don't know the time. It is 1.48. Cool. So it's been 48 minutes since I... 48 minutes of recording. Cool. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video of day, t uh, night two of National Moth Week. So, if you enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe, and, uh, see you next time. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You know what, before I end this video, why don't you just comment down below how sh I should end this video. Alright? So... I'll give you a little bit to just type that in there. Okay. No. Okay, I see that comment. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for that. Okay, I'm going to go do that now. Okay, well, never mind. The video is not over because you see that up there? I don't know what that is, so I'm going to try to catch it. And then I'll end the video. All right, I got him down. Seems to be another poplar sphinx. Quite yellow, this one, actually. All right, once again, to show you it's not movie magic. The other poplar sphinx is right there. Let's see the, oh, the other one. Again, a male. 
again a male. A lot more fresh. Just hatched yesterday, I think. I don't know. Really cool. Oh my god. It is so pretty. Yeah, way more fresher than this one. See, this one is a little scuff there. This one's all nice and clean. Kind of ruining it now, but whatever. Be free. Cringe little creature. All right, now it's the end of the video. Board.